Hey, what's going on guys? This is day one of the Call of Duty Champs uh, vacation vlog that we're doing. Um, today's Thursday, first day of Champs, August 19th. I got down here in Orange County, flew from Sacramento, flight landed a couple hours ago, but I haven't received my, uh, my COVID results yet. So we are going to head over to Walgreens. I'm gonna get one of the instant like at-home tests that are ready in like 15 minutes because I'm trying to go, uh, let's see, it's 11.30, Optic plays at noon, so I'm probably gonna miss the Optic match, but I wanna try to at least get in there today. Um, I also have a new mic, I picked up the Rode Video Micro, so hopefully the audio sounds nice and crisp. I know everyone likes the Star that I was using before, but I didn't like it. It always, there you could hear too much bumping, and it was super annoying. Like, it always sounded like, someone was smacking the camera like it just I think the shock was just kind of too tight and it didn't absorb uh, all the movement very well but we're gonna head over to Walgreens pick up the instant rapid kit first thing we did when we got down here was hit the taqueria all right 14022 Springdale Street I say it every time I come best taqueria on the planet my favorite uh, but I don't know, I'll check in hopefully we can get to the event today uh, the lab has received my test, so it's in the process of, of being tested. I just haven't actually got the results yet, which is, it's super annoying. Um, but I don't know. Well, uh, let's, let's see what happens. Package is secured. We've got this, the Binex now. Binex now, I don't know. It's the COVID-19 antigen, anti, the antigen self. It's that. You test yourself. Um, I really hope that the venue accepts this as proof of a negative test. Like, to my knowledge, this is the same one that you do through the drive-through, but with this one, you get to do it at home instead of scheduling it. Um, it only takes like 15 minutes. I'm gonna probably record myself doing it just in case there's like any issue or anything at the venue. I could be like, yo, look at like, here's me doing the fucking test. The only thing I'm worried about, right, is like, I mean, let's be honest, there's no way to know whose nose you swab. Like you could buy this and say I was with somebody else. Like I could swab their nose and then just like lie and say it was mine, right? Like, am I the only one thinking like this? I don't know. It's the only thing I could see them being like, oh yeah, that doesn't count. Um, but we're gonna just wing it. We're gonna see what happens. Uh, absolute worst case scenario, I, uh, I'm gonna have to watch the optic matches on my phone for uh, the whole day and maybe just hang out like outside of the venue and, and be weird. I don't know. Wish me luck. Well, that uh, that at-home test turned back negative. So we're getting in the car now. Um, let me throw that down. Um, it came back negative. I don't know if they're gonna accept it, but no one answered the phone when I tried to call. I'm gonna just head down there and pretty much hope for the best. If they end up not letting me in, I do need to get a haircut, all right? Uh, you guys can't see, cause you know, the old, uh, the hex quarters rope hat. But uh, if I uh, if I take this bad boy off, all right? It's a little moppy. It's a little moppy up top. So uh, I meant to get it cut before I came down. Uh, didn't happen. The chick that always cuts my hair, Nicole, she, uh, she was out of town, I'm assuming, I don't know. She would, I couldn't book her, so uh, I'm assuming she's on vacation or something. Um, but it's okay, I've got a barber down here that I used to go to when I lived down here, so. Uh, you know, I got barbers all over the place. If I'm up in Redding, I got my chick on lockdown. I've been going to her for like five years. If I'm down in Southern California, I need a quick cut, head over to Zion Barbershop, have them hook it up. Um, if I'm ever in, uh, in Texas, I'm gonna have to find somebody, so. Uh, you know, once I get out there, I'll have to find a new person to cut my hair. But if they don't let me in, I'm going to go get a haircut so I look nice and fresh for the rest of the weekend. I will see you guys at Galen Center. Hopefully, they accept this test. I recorded everything, me taking the test. The only thing I didn't record was like the entire 15-minute uh, wait for it to basically, you know, get results. But I recorded me looking at the results, I have several pictures on my phone, I wrote my name, date, and time of test on there. Um, I just hope that it's acceptable. Okay, try to be brave, you have so much to say, take control of your own life. Right now, every mistake makes you feel
news, the guy accepted my at-home test and let me in. Bad news is that upon getting uh, to where they actually, you know, check your bags and everything, I can't bring half my shit in here. Like this little crate shoulder bag, can't bring that because it's not clear. Um, I've got a little accessory bag in my, uh, I have an accessory bag in my backpack that is not clear. It's basically like this almost, but with little cable strap holder things. Um, can't bring that and I have to dump all the cables out. So, uh, and then I have my camera bag, which has, uh, you know, a different lens and whatnot. I can't even bring this bendy tripod, like the, the gorilla pod. Can't bring that. So we're back to the car, the rental car. Um, I had to dump some of this stuff out and uh, readdress and assess what stuff needs to come in there. Chicago mutineers with the final few seconds as they will be able to get a few bit of seconds over at Turtle. It's 247. Now left three more points. Mutineers are gonna have to pull off a miracle. It feels like it's just a matter of time before this slaying train continues to roll on through. Neptune inside of the hill. It's all on the him as he gets traded out. It's Dashy, and that will be it. Chicago responding valiantly here in the hard points. After that victory, Optic will in fact be playing the leader uh, of Ultra versus Empire. So with that in mind, this is the way that things look again. Some interesting results. Okay, well, we just uh, finished up day one. Um, I'm already starting to lose my voice, it's getting bad. But Optic just won in incredible fashion against the Florida Mutineers. They started out the day losing to the Subliners, um, but the Mutineer series got a little tight, and then the hard point, it's like everybody went off when they needed to. Everybody. Envoy had an insane match. I'm Like I said, I'm already losing my voice. But that's it for the first day. I didn't do any podcasting today. I'm going to do that tomorrow. I'm going to wear the brick by brick long sleeve shirt, you know, represent a little bit. Um, but I'm going to head home now. And uh, actually, no, I'm going to go get a haircut. I need to find some place to get a haircut. And then I'm going to go home uh, and shower and sleep. I am so tired. But that's day one in the books of CDL Champs 2021. Um, definitely started out the day like a little slow, uh, but that last match definitely uh, has me ready for the rest of the weekend, and I'm sure a proper uh, amount of rest as well. I was, uh, I'm, I'm pretty tired right now. That's going to do it, though. I'll see you guys on the next video, which will go up probably the day after this goes up. So if you guys are watching this right now, then I should have a video up tomorrow or the next day covering day two of COD Champs. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, notificate, hit the hit the bell so you guys know when the new videos are coming. I can't talk that fast right now. My voice is gone. And uh, tomorrow we are picking up uh, Taylor Eggy from uh, from the airport. So you'll uh, she'll probably be in the vlog a little bit. See you guys on the next one. I'm out.